Welcome to this guide to ground working, part one, field preparation on Farming Simulator 22, with me, Mr. CLEP. Okay, I'm stood here in March, my field is prepped and ready to go. This is going to be split into two parts. The bit you're going to see in a moment is regarding all the field preparation, cultivators, ploughs, mulching, all that kind of thing. I was then going to do... Um, all in one video onto the second part which is going to be yield improvement and looking at each of the individual things one at a time the things that improve yield and the things that can give you a deficit in your yield but it became a bit of an unwieldy beast so we're going to step into the next part momentarily which is going to be part one then i'm going to film part two but part two is weirdly going to be filmed from here it will make sense as we go along there's something i do want to clarify now in the bit you're about to see there's a couple of, not errors as such. One is an error initially, which I realised fairly quickly. Please don't jump in the comments as soon as I say it. You'll see what I mean, because I do come, I do realise fairly quickly the situation. I just want to put that out there now. Um, the other one is regarding um, direct drills. And again, I'm going to do something in the clip you're going to see where I use a direct drill. And you'll see, I don't, it's not going to be a spoiler per se. And I state that the direct drill, interestingly, gives you a fertilising state at the same time. But here's the thing. The direct drill I've been using, because I've had to go through a few growth cycles to get this field to a point where it's not fertilised, it needs lime, it needs ploughing. Um, so I've gone through a few cycles and I'm using... A direct drill planter with corn because obviously I needed it to need to be ploughed afterwards this direct drill doesn't give you a fertilizing state so my sweeping statement of all oh, direct drills give you a, I think it could be for this particular reason this direct drill only seeds doesn't have a fertilizer option the one that I was using and you'll see in the clip does have a fertilizer option and initially i don't put fertilizer in it but then i do the weird thing about it being it seemed to give you a fertilizing state anyway regardless of whether there was fertilizer in it or not but this one doesn't so yeah just like i say just to be aware of that fact that'd be great um so what will happen is we'll go over now to that section there's a lot of information, there's a lot of different bits of equipment, new ground textures and all things that do all new whiz bangy type stuff. Um, and then we'll probably finish off back here where I do the outro. Enjoy! Before we even begin that process of looking at the yield bonuses and deficits, there are going to be some within this section. We first need to look at the actual field preparation side of things. What options do we have for field preparation? What of these options are needed, which are not needed? Because some are going to be here for the look of it, to add extra immersion. Some of them are in here because you need to do these processes. Let's start off with cultivators. Yeah, we'll start with, we'll start with cultivators. Uh, we've got cultivators, disc harrows. We've got power harrows. We've got mulches we've got subsoils i'm just trying to think so we've got our cultivators here <laughs> we've got our disc harrow uh we've got our power harrow we've got a mulcher we've got plows subsoilers spaders then behind that we've got our cedars which we're going to move on to in a little while um so this is going to be looking at the ground textures the ground states what does each one do uh when it's done something what is there required we've got rock picker and we've got a roller over there as well um, like I say, some of these you need to do, some of these you don't, depending again on the equipment you use. It, it's quite a lot to take in, but some of these are going to be, I say aesthetic in a way, um, because realistically, your cultivator and your disc harrow and your power harrow will do the same job. But weirdly, they've thrown in something else under cultivators here. So we'll start off with the standard cultivators. If we go into our menu and we scroll up to our 
vehicles and equipment and stuff. Let's go to cultivators. So cultivators, you've got standard cultivators now, and you've got shallow cultivators. These ones, as you can see, have got deeper tines to them. These are what I'm calling standards, although I did start with the shallow one because it was wider. I was, I was, you know. And then we move up, and then it says shallow cultivators are used for shallow cultivation or seedbed creation of fields. So if you go for a standard, what we're used to, just what says cultivator, it actually brings up stones. You get this cultivated look. So that is actually your standard cultivator is cultivating a little bit deeper with these tines. And you are getting small stones coming up out the ground. If you use a shallow cultivator, you get this kind of seed bed where it hasn't gone deep enough. It's basically just turning over the stubble a little bit, giving you this it's a different texture, something we've not been used to before, but it doesn't bring any stones up. Both are cultivated, both are fine. Now, as far as why do we need to cultivate a field, I'm going to look at that when we get to ploughing as well. If you have drills, uh, if you have, yeah, well, planters or seeders that aren't direct drills, and if you're new to the game, what that will mean is that if you have one that isn't a direct drill, you need to prepare your seed bed first, which means you will need to cultivate or plough and then you can put your seed or planter over the ground. If you've got one that is called a direct drill, I suppose the other thing to do will be to look at those now. So under seeders, you've got these ones, um, and then you've got a little bit further on so these ones. Uh, where are we? A cultivated prepares, yeah. So there are your standard ones. Then we move on to these, and it says, this seeder offers the possibility to seed directly. No previous cultivating or plowing is necessary. Now, if, you're, if you've been playing the game for a long time, you'll know this already. Um, we're going to get on to looking at that in a moment. But if you've got the ones that don't have that option, that aren't direct drills, then you will need to cultivate or plough first. That's why this process is necessary. But realistically, this one gives you a cultivated state, but shallow cultivation. The standard one now gives you this, but then you're going to have to come along and either clear up the rocks or push the rocks into the ground. So if you don't want to do that extra step, you might want to go for the shallower option. That said, you can turn stones off. This is why this whole thing becomes an absolute minefield. You can turn stones off. So if you do use this option, then you don't have to have stones come up at the ground. I think it's a great addition, so I will be using it. Then we move on to the disc harrow. Now the disc harrow, as you can see, is a shallow cultivation tool. That's given us the same texture and same uh, look as the, um, the shallow cultivator. So the disc harrow, shallow cultivation. Then the power harrow, these are usually a little bit smaller, require a bit more horsepower. Same thing again, shallow cultivation. So these three, on the one on the end, and, well, and that one, they all do the same thing. They're preparing a seed bed, so you can use a seeder or a planter that isn't a direct drill, and off you go. Very happy indeed. We're going to come on to the stones situation in a minute. So that's your cultivating side of things. Then we move on to the mulcher. Now the mulcher is a new thing. So once you've harvested a field and you've got all your stubble like this sticking up out the ground, what you can do now is use a mulcher. The mulcher goes along and basically it chops that stubble up so you don't have the stalk sticking up. And the purpose behind that is often with a no-till system as well, um, that that stubble will then sit on the ground and that will rot into the ground over you know, over the winter or however you're going to leave it, or if you cultivate it in or plough it in, and that will add nutrient into the ground. Now, in-game, because this is new, if you mulch your crop stubble, that gives you a 5% increase in yield. Now, I said we weren't going to talk about yield till later on, but this is relevant to what we're doing now as well. That will give you a 5% increase in yield just by chopping up that stubble. So you could do that step anyway. You could chop your stubble anyway. It gives you a 5% increase, so why not? And there are different sized ones of these. And then you can come along and cultivate if you want to. That's up to you. But if you've got a direct drill, you can just then go straight into it once you've done that. So that step, for 5% increase, you might as well do it anyway. Why, why not? Doesn't hurt. Um, that's the kind of that's the cultivation. Discs, power harrows, and the mulcher. Then we move on to the ploughing side of things. Now, if you're going for a no-till system, you don't want to be ploughing at all. And if you're going to be doing anything, you want to be doing this, mulching, or you, you, know, you want to be kind of avoiding any sort of cultivation. And that's when you would use, um, well, we get onto that, the direct drills. 
So, but the ploughing, sometimes you need to do it. Now, some people don't bother. They have to ploughing turned off. They don't want to use it. That's fine. Of course, you don't have to do ploughing if you don't want to. But if you have ploughing turned on, there are certain crops, corn being one of them, and it will show you, we'll go to the map. I'll need to just put that down to there and turn ploughing on. So anything that's red needs ploughing. So as you can see, I've got big sections of my field, apart from what I've just done, need ploughing there in red. Because I've had corn in this last. There are some other crops. can't think of them off the top of my head. Um, I can turn that off so we can see. Obviously, there's the lime situation. But we'll get onto that with yield later on. Um, so if it comes up and the field is red, and it may give you the thing saying it needs ploughing, then sometimes you just need to. Unless you've got it turned off, in which case you won't get that option at all. It doesn't matter. You, you know, I think it kind of levels everything out as far as yield goes. Now, if you don't plough a field and it says it needs ploughing, that will give you a deficit of 15% on your crop yield. So if it comes up saying, look, you need to plough your field and you go, no, I don't want to do it, um, there will be a deficit of 15%. Yeah, 15 um, if you don't plough your field. So it's worth doing to, to make sure you're up where you should be. It's kind of looking at it as the, as the baseline, almost like, you know, sea level. You've got your sea level. Any yield bonus is above that. Any deficit goes below that. So you've got your kind of baseline. If you don't plough the field, you'll get a deficit. It will drop below that. If you do plough the field, you're fine. It, you don't get a bonus per se. It just doesn't, you just don't get the deficit. So it kind of keeps you on an even keel. But we've got three different machines here that will give you the ploughing state. Now, when I say state, I mean it shows up as being ploughed. So we've got standard ploughs, we've got subsoilers, and we've got new in-game spaders. The spaders go much deeper. It's a rotary thing with basically just loads of shovels that shovels it and turns all the ground over. The subsoiler goes a little bit deeper than the plough. Each one of these will give you stones. So no matter what you do, with each one of these, plough, subsoiler or spader, you will get stones out of the ground. So with the, the plough, you get small stones. You can just about see those there. Yeah, get small stones coming up out of the ground. Wonderful. If you use a subsoiler, you get larger stones coming up out of the ground, as you can see there. Now, as far as I can tell, they might even be bigger actually looking at it. If you use a spader, you get rocks. I mean... That's why you need a rock picker. This is not a stone picker. This is th These are boulders. So if you use a spader, that will give you the ploughed state. Each one of these will tell you your ploughing's been done. Well done. Good job. But you'll get small stones, slightly bigger stones. I don't think they're the same size. They're definitely bigger than those. Um, but spading, wow. So there are ways to get rid of those, which we're going to have a look at. Um, there's the rollers, which the rollers are supposed to, if you want to use a roller rather than the rock picker, you can push these stones back into the ground. But the larger ones, you can't push back into the ground with a roller. You're going to need to use a rock picker. I told you it was a lot to be getting your head around. There is a lot to be getting around. Rollers also come with a bonus, <laughs> which we'll also look at. And then right at the very end, I've got a crop here. That's crop stubble that hasn't been mulched. That's standard. That's just to show you that if you use a direct drill, you can seed directly over a field that's been harvest, harvested. But there's also a bonus that comes with that. So I suppose what we need to look at then first is, yeah, we're going to look at seeders that aren't direct drills. I'm going to use the seeder rather than the planter. Um, because what we're going to look at is, can we still, like you could in FS19, can you still seed directly onto a ploughed field? Because my argument was always, if you're going to plough the field anyway, unless you want to go for that um, realistic look of, well, if I've ploughed it, that's fine, but I need to prepare my seed bed, it needs to be smoother, that's fine. If I can't, if this doesn't let me, oh, sorry, if this doesn't let me, then cultivating has a much more important role now. I think it's going to let me, yeah. So you can seed directly onto a ploughed field, just like you could on FS19. I was almost hoping it wouldn't let you. I was almost hoping that you had to, if it was a ploughed field, you had to cultivate it. But that's fine. Now, the only thing with doing that is, if you're in a situation like this, it does say that if you seed or use any equipment and go over the rocks, you will cause damage to your 
cedars, planters or equipment much quicker because if you're kind of slamming off those rocks as you can see we are seeding but the rocks are still there but that will increase your damage a lot quicker on your cedars how quickly I haven't tested that yet but that will be the case now because this is not a direct drill I shouldn't be able to seed on top of this because this hasn't been cultivated or prepared in any way shape or form so as I go over nothing so as you can see that's not going to work on there it should also go over the anything that I've cultivated we should be able to seed into no problem at all the one I'm curious about as well there we go. oh now that's new hang on what now that's on the power harrowed one let's try it on the disc harrowed nope not getting anything going in the ground on the disc harrowed hang on is it going in but it's just not showing you know what I think it is that is really difficult to see no it is that's what we'll do we'll check on the map let's turn that off and we'll go to crop growth got some green there so it is blimey I tell you what I mean that is I mean that don't get me wrong so I can you can take back what I just said that's fine that does keep them relevant it is seeding but you can only just about tell the difference between that and that I mean it's cool don't get me wrong I think that's brilliant um, so okay so you can that's all right I didn't want to test it beforehand because I didn't want to kind of show my hand. Obviously, it will run this and you'll see that. Will you? Can you see that? Uh, yeah, you are getting a slightly different texture, a smoother texture. But again, you're going to damage um, your gear because the stones are still there. You're going to damage your cedar. You need to be careful with doing that. Right. So, if you've, cult if you've cultivated any way, shape or form, you can use a regular cedar and you, can, you should also be able to use a direct drill. So what we're going to do now is show the direct drill, then we're going to do the rock picking and show that. And I'll show the roller as well. And then we need to move on to looking at yield. I'm just thinking that's going to take a little while. But So, this bit on the end here that's had nothing done to it, why am I... <laughs> I've got a tractor on it already. <laughs> oh, so I'm, I'm thinking ahead of what I should be doing. So this is a direct drill so this straight after harvest with all the stubble and all the stuff there you can just come along and go right wallop let's just crack on let's put another crop type in drop it down now this will work on cultivated or non-cultivated although it is giving us that chopped look as well that's interesting i was expecting that so we are seeding but here's the thing with a direct drill not only are you I mean, it's, I suppose it's kind of tilling a little bit as it goes, just enough to get that in the ground. But what we also get from this, if we go across on our growth to there, see that? We're getting a fertilising state as well. So if you go for a no-till option, or limited till, and use a direct drill, you can go straight over the top of what you had before. It's chopping up the stubble, it's putting the seed in the ground, but you're getting a fertilising state with that, technically for free. I've got no fertiliser in that cedar. Now, if I had fertiliser in that cedar, I suppose in one pass I would be getting both. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to whiz off and get some fertiliser and we'll check that as well. Because I'm curious to see whether that's the case now. Because I wasn't expecting that. I knew about the fertilising state, but it's just suddenly dawned on me about, the fer about whether you can get two fertilising states in one pass. So going direct drill looks pretty good, actually. But again, if you don't want to cultivate, if you need to plough your fields anyway because it says it needs ploughing, you can seed directly onto a ploughed field again like you used to be able to. 
so to some degree the cultivation well, I suppose no it is, it is relevant because if you don't need to plough your field if it's not saying you need to plough it's not red but you don't have a direct drill then you're going to need to pay seed bed anyway but I guess any one of those will work it doesn't matter which one you use right I'm going to go get some um, fertiliser back in a second back again so I've got my fertiliser in now so I'll go across a bit when I'm done you notice how much darker that is from the first trip so in theory in one pass then using a direct drill we should let's check the map I don't understand that that section because I went over the bit I'd done before no still ain't going to be one fertilising state so I don't want to put I don't really want to be fertilising at the same time as doing this if you're that's weird then why have fertiliser on a direct drill because I was using the direct drill without fertiliser in it I was getting one fertilising state I'm using it with fertiliser in it I'm still getting one fertilising state yeah, that's still the same colour so that, that little bit there because I went over the bit I'd done before why put fertiliser in that's got to be a mistake surely that doesn't make any sense just realised that thing I was going to check I mean you can obviously you can use a, a direct drill over something that's been cultivated already that doesn't make any difference let's drop that down again though you still leaves that chop situation all these different textures blimey yeah so one state the thing I was going to check wasn't I and I meant to was if you use the mulcher and you do the stubble can you use a non-direct drill over what's been mulched that was also in check right okay well that wasn't what I was expecting but that's why we do this it's a guide to a lot of my guide to videos are test videos the guide being you're kind of learning what you can and can't do but also it's kind of testing things out as we go along um, otherwise it's double handed I always find me doing this I could have done all of this off screen checked everything out made myself a list and all I could have just done is come onto the screen and said right this works this doesn't this does this that doesn't that does this but I prefer showing I prefer looking and saying look this is what this does look at it you know so can I use a seed or a planter this time the planter that's not a direct drill over a field that's just been mulched I don't think it will work but then by what's happened so far who knows no so it does need to be ploughed or cultivated if you're going to use a machine that's not a, not a no-till but like I say if you're going to cultivate your field anyway you might as well mulch it first because you'll get that five percent increase uh, right next up then we need to look at our, mul uh, our rock picker and our roller what works on what well um, shall I start with the rock picker yeah I'll start with the rock picker now the rock picker should pick up the small rocks and the large rocks doesn't matter which so if you've got your rocks come up the ground and you don't want to damage your equipment you want to be using a rock picker I've gone for the Dagelman there are three there's two small Dagelmans and there's the larger Echo no Elo uh, stone pickers there we are yeah Elo not Echo the Elo so two Dagelmans and the Elo different sizes um, so what we should do is just turn it on drop it down and it'll pick our stones up now we can then take those and get paid for them. There we go, we've got a few litres. It is picking them up. A few little bumps as it goes over them. But we're taking our stones out the ground. Lovely. So that should do the larger ones as well. Look at, I love that animation I'm going to there. Look at that. So we can clear our stones out of the field using a rock picker. Small or large, it's all good. Then we've got the roller option. Roller option is an interesting one. 
because the roller option pushes the stones back into the ground but as far as I'm aware it only does small stones it won't do the large ones so you ha if you have used a subsoiler or the spader and you need to get rid of big rocks it's got to be a rock picker the roller will push smaller stones back into the ground if you do that it will give you a 5% yield bonus plus according to what it says on the information screen it will also give you a fertilizing state so there's kind of pros and cons to all different situations so in this situation here we've got all the smaller stones if I drop that down it doesn't need to be turned on that should all of those stones should get pushed back into the ground you know they're disappearing now we're getting a, a lovely smooth sorted out seed bed now obviously this screen if we go I'm really puzzled now I'll show you the screen in a minute um, if we go across to crop types and then growth it's all those different things now because you've got stubble tillage you've got cultivated ploughed seed bed so what we've got now going over this with this roller is creating the seed bed you can just see kind of zoomed in well, I've zoomed in as much as I can but here you can see that you can see where the different bits of seeding went in no problem at all if we go back across the soil composition So we'll do the small stones, as we can see. We'll go across this way. We should be able to do the small stones that the plough did. Let's find some. Just trim past some. So it's doing the small stones. This is where it proves me wrong. Um, but it shouldn't do the big stones. The big stones should still need a rock picker. is what all the information said there we go so it won't do the big stones and it does look like the substore is big yeah so the subsoiler and the spader are big stones the plow is small stones so you're still going to need to get a rock picker but what I don't understand is if we go to yeah that was the screen we wanted and we go to here if we go to improving yield, I think it was, or was it cultivating sowing? There we go. It says using a mulcher on stubble, increase your yield by 5%. We've already talked about that. Another set of tool that helps you improve your yield are rollers. Grass rollers push small stones back into the ground and provide you with one stage of fertilization. Ah, grass rollers. So, Standard rollers, which I've got now, for fields, they can remove small stones and increase your yield by 5%. Right, so we've got a 5% increase on the mulcher, 5% increase by using this and pushing small stones in. Grass rollers, will they work on here as well? I didn't even look at that. Grass rollers and weeds improve the yield of your... Gra oh, but that'll just be for grass fields, won't it? Is it worth trying it on here? <laughs> to say this is a minefield is an absolute understatement. Um, stone pickers and standard rollers then. So 5% increase if you use a mulcher, 5% increase if you use a standard roller. Standard roller will push in small stones but won't push in large stones, which means you'll still need a rock picker, depending on which of these options you go for. I'm going to go and grab this. Let's see, shall we? Let's slow it down. Will this push the stones in on here? Or if it's a grassland one, is it only for grass? No, it's pushing the stones in. So again, I don't. This is going to do large stones. It should just do small stones. Yeah, it's not doing the large stones. There's some small stones there. So I suppose the thing to check now is the yield. Uh, the, okay, well, it's not giving me a fertilising state on this field, so I assume that is... So whilst it is pushing the stones into the ground, it's not giving me a uh, fertilising state. I assume that it's just going to be for grass fields. Worth a check. You never know. 
that could have been one of those little magic things that not only does it push the stones into the ground but on a normal field it will give you a, a um, fertilizing state for free you never know do you so yeah summing up on here then shallow cultivators standard cultivators will give you stones not obviously not cool stones but it'll give you stones in your field um disc arrows power arrows also shallow stubble it, that's worth doing anyway five percent increase you've got your three plowing options small stones large stones large stones and then if you want to go no-till but interestingly i think it's because i went over it with something else that's brought some large stones to the surface but yeah if you want to go for no-till and you get a direct drill that'll work and give you a fertilizing state and your cedars or planters that aren't direct drills you can on cultivated ground no problem at all you can on ploughed ground no problem at all but you can't on mulched ground or ground that has nothing done to it at all um i, I guess that would have been the i could have just done that right from the start but then it would really have explained any of what we we're doing or shown any i'm going to go back now to the previous mr p i think or later mr p one of them one of my many evil brethren and um Let's see about the yield, shall we? So there you go. I did tell you it was a bit of a minefield, didn't I? <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm future or past. Future Mr. City P, I think, because I recorded that before. Yeah, I'm future Mr. City P. Um, and I'm not evil at all, despite what he said. So there we have it. I hope that's helped <laughs> in some way, shape or form. Um, part two will be starting from here. And again... There's a lot we're going to be trying to do. Um, I, I mentioned earlier on about that kind of um, that water level. I'm kind of looking at it an, an ocean side on was what I was trying to say. And you've got your, your increase in yield above and your deficits, deficits below. So what I will be doing in the next one is looking at those deficits, looking at the positive yield improvements, doing one at a time to see what difference it makes, then doing them all together and hopefully we should see differences each time so you can pick and choose which ones you do if you want to do all of them part of them some of them none of them that'll be entirely your choice but for this part one field preparation we are done i hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching